Hello and welcome back. Those of you who have a lot of interest in AI and machine learning, so today we are going to talk about a very important topic. We are going to take a look at Hugging Face, which is a cutting edge AI platform and it has taken the tech world by storm. I did a quick poll today, which is still going on, just to find out what is the level of awareness. So the question was, have you used Hugging Face for machine learning? Poll is still underway, but clearly there is a trend. More than 50% people say not aware of it. So hence this uh, video. So Hugging Face may be a very strange name, but it is a very comprehensive platform that offers powerful tools for unstructured data like text, image, videos, audio, and so on. So today we'll look at what makes Hugging Face platform so unique. Some of the innovative features that it has, how it is democratizing AI, and why so many researchers and developers are flocking to it. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you keep up to date with the latest content that might be of interest to you. So let's get started. If you go to huggingface.co, you will land up on this page where you see models, data sets, etc. If you go to models, on the left side you see various options like tasks, libraries and so on. So as an example, if you are interested in doing image classification, click on that and then you can see over 8000 models listed which are related to this image classification. If you select one, let's go with the Microsoft ResNet 50. So ResNet as you can see stands for residual network and 50 because the deep learning network has 50 layers. It's a big network and very popular one. So you get a lot of information about it. You can also see how many downloads last month, over 14 million. And you can also quickly do some image classification here. If I click here and select a picture, it quickly runs the model. So with 98.5% probability, you can say it has detected that I'm wearing sweatshirt here. So you get a lot of information about this model various files that may help you when you are developing your own models and also there is a community button where you can find interesting information. So let's go back to models and look at another example. So let's go with image classification again and let's try this emotion class model. So let me pick up a picture here. So as I select this, it runs the model. So basically this is an emotion class model and it says that there's a 98.2% chance that this picture is about a person who is happy and very small percentage remaining 0.018 sad. NSFW, let's see. So NSFW is not safe for work images. This model can help in filtering explicit or inappropriate content in various applications. So again, if we quickly upload a picture, it runs the model and says that almost 100% probability that this is a normal image and it is safe for workplace. Chances that this is NSFW is almost nil. Another example, AI image detector. So let's upload this picture and it runs the model and says that there is a 74.5% chance that it is of a human, only one fourth chance that this is generated by AI. Let me go to ChatGPT and Dell E, create a picture of little girl with a cute puppy. So let's upload this picture. It says 88.8% .8 chance that this is artificial and very small probability that it is real human. Now similarly if I go to text classification and let's choose a language it allows you to choose 
from all kinds of languages. So I'm going to select Hindi. This one. So I'm going to paste a tweet that was done in Hindi. And it can detect with 96.2% probability that this language is Hindi. And then there are smaller probabilities for other languages. So obviously these are very useful because it allows you to go into any model, look at the details, and you have access to all the files and the versions. So when developing a model, so depending on the task, uh, applying a machine learning model becomes much more user friendly. Similarly, if you look at the data sets, so you have data for, again, all kinds of tasks. Image classification, for example. So it gives you details about the data set. The training data has more than 4,000 rows. If you are doing text to audio kind of work, you have all kinds of data sets. It is 13 degrees with Drizzle and Exeter. If you are doing text to audio kind of model and interested in some other language, for example, German here. Audio classification, again with languages. So you have data set with Bengali training 7,000 rows. Another very really useful thing is Spaces. So Spaces provides a lot of applications that have been made by the community. So for example, if you go to the first one, which is quite popular, you can write a prompt. Man in suit sitting under a tree. And it creates this picture here. You can also customize anything that you want. For example, width height for any app that you see in spaces you can also see all the related files available and you have the community so a lot of good information is available for someone to get a quick start on any app that you want to build magic animate just as an example if you upload this image and this video so this is going to be the output it will basically combine the image and this video to generate a new video. So here is another example. Outfit anyone. So here are some examples. So it basically takes the second image and converts that into a dress. Another example uses first and second image to create the third image. So basically in the second picture you can use any dress and that dress will go on the first picture as a output. Deep fake AI. So I uploaded my picture as a source image. The target is my father's picture holding a butterfly. So basically I'm using this app for face swapper. I want my face on the second picture. So after running this app, this is the picture I get. So everything about this picture remains exactly same. What is very interesting is that it has tried to replicate my face on my father's body, maintaining few features like hairs, for example, and also while using my picture, it removes sunglasses, but it looks uh, quite realistic. Image to audio story. So it has created a story. Image details, there is a man making a peace sign. So it looks at this too and says it's a peace sign with hands. And then it creates an artificial story basically. A man stood on the street corner, etc, etc. A woman walked by the man and smiled. She said, I like your sign. The man smiled back and said, thanks, I like your hair. The woman laughed and said, thanks, I just got it cut and so on. It can also generate audio, video face swap. So just as an example, 
we upload a picture here and there is a target video so when we run the model this face will appear on this video as you can see in this output an interesting thing is that it maintains the background and the feel and you also see the colors match with the background and original video people like me who teach at universities it also has a classroom option so it makes things much easier for both instructors as well as students if you are at a university or working for a company maybe you already have your organization listed here for example i am from umass d university of massachusetts dartmouth and i did create this organization to get started so right now i am the only member but i am sure very soon we'll see more members here so a lot of good things and whether you are just starting in ai or machine learning field or a ai or machine learning veteran hugging face platform definitely is something you cannot miss and it provides excellent tools to get new ideas and build interesting apps and you find everything at one place so that makes the journey much easier than trying to figure out something from scratch i'm sure as you explore this you'll find uh, very very interesting things available here so i hope you like this video thanks for watching see you soon